And we've just had this in from an eyewitness. And, uh, I see the victim on the floor and <laughs> one of the murderers walking around with the weapons. Walking around with the weapons and um, just saying the most randomest things that anyone could ever say, saying that men are not going near the body, only women, um, saying this is what God would have wanted. And then they were telling people to video record them doing it. And then the police come back five, seven minutes later. D did you know what you were witnessing at the time? Did you know how serious it was? I didn't have a clue what they was doing. They was just walking around with weapons in their hands with a guy on the floor. I didn't have a clue what they wanted to do it for, why they was doing it, what their reason for doing it is, I don't know. I witnessed there talking to Victoria McDonald. Jackie Long is live at the scene. Simon Israel is with us. Uh, 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 Simon, um, you've been talking to contacts on the phone and the rest. What have you got? I'm led to understand that security sources, in one sense, think this was a pretty unsophisticated attack, as brutal and as horrific as it was. It didn't involve timers. It didn't involve explosives. So this was possibly an opportunistic, although if you're walking around, driving around with those sorts of weapons in, well, the key is, was this planned? And if it was planned, did the security services, were the security services aware of who these men were and what they were planning to do? Let's go straight down to Downing Street. A few seconds from you, Gary. Well, we're, uh, the COBRA meeting ended a short while ago. It lasted just under an hour. Uh, that's a meeting where they try to work out uh, what, what do they know, what should they do. One of the things they've decided to do is tighten security around London barracks. From that, you can infer, I haven't actually been told, but I think you can infer uh, uh, pretty uh, firmly that this uh, was uh, a member of the armed forces, uh, someone uh, in that league who died. And that is about all we know at the moment. Uh, and the Prime Minister, it seems, I mean, at one point looked as if he was going to come straight back, but he seems now to have decided, no, I'll carry on with my visit, but I'll come back at midnight or so. He won't stay overnight in Paris with President Hollande. He'll come back to London late tonight. I suspect we'll hear from him in the morning, but uh, there's a chance of a further statement if any more details are there to be shared from the Home Secretary, Theresa May, later on tonight. Jackie Long, beyond your... Shoulder, I see changes in the scene behind you in the police operation. Some sort of new paraphernalia. They're unloading sheets and things. What's going on? Uh, we understand this is some sort of police incident room being set up behind me, but this is an operation that is being scaled up the more time passes. We know that there has been a meeting of the Gold Command at Plumstead Police Station nearby, which indicates just how serious this incident is. And we also know that there are many officers here now joining um, the Met Police from bordering forces, and that's a highly unusual move. So we understand that there are officers from Essex, Sussex, uh, Thames, Thames Valley. Um, this is a massive police operation with a great deal of work to do. Jackie, thank you. Simon, a final word from you. Yes, um, we understand that the English Defence League, the EDL, may be planning, a, in effect, a show of force down in that area this evening. So if things aren't bad enough, the community tensions are likely to be worse if the EDL turn up. Well, uh, that, that one doesn't sense that's going to assist the police operation one iota. Uh, one wonders what the motivation for that might be. Indeed. I mean, the EDL uh, have pledged to make their presence felt in areas such as this. They are strong, as you've noticed, strong defenders of the, of the British soldier. We've seen them in various parts of the country doing that. And this is... They see an opportunity... Uh, to make trouble. Simon Israel, well, that, that's the, the picture so far as we can divine it. It has unfolded in the course of this programme. It's not been easy to divine what is absolute fact and what isn't, but it does now seem to be, for sure, a major terrorist incident and the country is on a much higher alert. And everything will, of course, continue online on our website. There's a vigorous debate going on on Twitter, a lot of shock uh, about what's happened in Woolwich today. Our website is live and is bringing you latest information um, minute by minute. And uh, we'll be back at this time tomorrow night, 7 o'clock. Do join us then. But from the whole of the team here and out on the ground in Woolwich and around Downing Street and the rest, that's Channel 4 News. Good evening.